Let me quickly say this. If God does not call you to start a ministry, don't venture into it. If you are working in a system under a leadership, don't get angry, react to go and start your ministry. If you start it by yourself, you run it by yourself. If you want to understand what I'm talking about, look at me here. By the grace of God, the last 40 years, I've been working with and under Bishop Oedeko. Why? God called him. God called him and sent me to him to work with him, to work under him. And by the grace of God, you can't deny the impact today. Ministry is not about your number, but your function. Your function. Therefore, let every man abide in the calling wherein he is called. We are in the days of visions and revelations, of course. We are ministries will rise from ministries. But let it be a true rise, not a reaction. Not a struggle. I want to be like him. Not that, oh, my friend started ministry. I want to also go and start. If God does not call you, you will end in a corner. If your caller is not with you, you will end in a corner. If you don't have a sender, you'll be sent back. If you don't have a backup, you will have backbone breakage. I'm saying this because people are watching all over the globe and many of us seated here. Let every man abide in the calling wherein he is called. If he calls you to start a ministry, why not? Why not? And even if he does, make sure you receive the goodwill of the house. When the Lord called Moses, he went back to Jethro. Jethro, the Lord has spoken to me. And Jethro said, go in peace. Everyone that God called received the family goodwill for them to go. When the Lord called Paul, he took the right hand of fellowship of the brethren. They gave him goodwill for him to go and succeed. These are simple cultures that people have taken for granted. Yes, I'm anointed. He's anointed. I'm anointed. You are making a mistake. Anointing will be the same level. Anointing is not the same level. It differs from one person to another. When Aaron was cornered by Miriam to say that they are also anointed, the Lord says, shut up. If there are prophets among you, they are in classes. There is none of you in the class of my servant, Moses. The one with whom I speak mouth to mouth and face to face. I talk to all of you in dreams and vision, but I talk to him mouth to mouth and face to face. I know my level. I know my limit. I've been working with his servant for over these years. I know my limit. I know my level. I don't cross the boundaries. And that has given me safety. I don't envy him. I don't covert what he has. I camp behind him, watching the steps he takes. And as I said, take similar steps, I get similar results. That's why there is no blessing that God has given to his servant, Bishop Oedipo, that he has not given me. It may not be the same, but it is in similarity. <laughs> Including honor and dignity. Who told you you cannot be honored if you are serving somewhere? Who told you? Now, I didn't plan to say this, but I just felt the urge of the Spirit to make this digression. So that you need to be sure of how God is taking you, how God is leading you. If you are not called to start a ministry, independent ministry, stay where you are. Using the opportunities available to